In this video, we'll go over all the WoW news from the past week and try to compress it into a bite-sized video. The weekly event for this week is Arena Skirmishes. The Archaeology Bi-Weekly is Fell Fragments, which just gives you a trash item. Uh, the Darkmoon Fair is in town this week, and new with this patch is a control panel that lets you play minigames from previous world quests and other things that let you play minigames. It's located right behind the roller coaster, which is towards the entrance. The Love is in the Air holiday will start this Saturday, and Lunar Festival will be ending this week. The Mythic Race for World First continues, with a couple of them working on the final boss, Nazoth. During one attempt by Limit, they found an unintentional way of doing the boss, which required skipping one of the phases, and it caused Blizzard to despawn Nizoth on all Mythic Realms for North American servers, while they hotfixed what allowed them to skip that phase. Blizzard always hotfixes Mythic bosses mid-raid, it's just, until recently, people never got to see this happening live, so it wasn't really a surprise to Mythic Raiders, but it definitely surprised everyone else. There's a reason Mythic Raiders joke about being unpaid beta testers. Blizzard put in a couple of hotfixes to nerf heroic visions for tanks and healer specs. Mobs will have 25% reduced health for tank specializations, and a whopping 42% less health for healers. I went in and tested this on my Dis Priest, who was my main, and I was able to actually complete the vision faster than on my Shadow Priest with these new nerfs. Although this may vary for some classes, Shadow Priests are notorious for being one of the worst solo DPS specs in the game, so other classes who have healer and DPS specs might have a much better solo DPS spec to choose from. But it's now totally viable for healers to run through it on their healing specs, as long as they go full damage. Blizzard also changed that one trinket that drops from Rathion, which has a proc that would give you wings to no longer give you a slow fall effect while it's active, and instead, you can now activate the slow fall effect separately from the trinket as a manual on use effect. Alright, and now it's time for the weather report with Devbot the Weatherbot. Any changes to the weather in Nihalatha? Never be a prisoner of your past. It was just a lesson, not a life sentence. Yeah, you're right, Devbot. I guess the weather wouldn't really change in there. I don't even think it's a real place, is it? Now, let's go on to the mob of the week. This week, we have a mob called Lu Guju. This is an NPC that's located at the top of the Kunlai Summit, and is a flying turtle that just kind of patrols this area. If you're able to target this turtle with, like, a target macro, you can just type in a slash wave and he'll book it over to you no matter where he's at and start following you around for a while. This turtle was created memorial to Lonesome George, the last of a subspecies of tortoise called the Pinta Island tortoise, which was hunted into extinction because they were both quite large for tortoises and could live without food and water for six months. So trading vessels, pirates, and sailors would routinely go to the islands in order to pick up a couple of these turtles in order to store them on their boats for food, with the last one being found by accident in the 1970s, and then died in captivity without being able to successfully reproduce with other similar subspecies of tortoise in 2012. Now, for something to do in WoW. If you go to the Vale of Eternal Blossoms and speak to Zidormi, she'll transport you back to the old version of the Vale of Eternal Blossom, which will allow you to speak to an NPC inside this building, which will let you queue up for solo LFR, Mists of Pandaria. A few patches ago, Blizzard released a new rating for Lucius, which added a whole bunch of pets to the first three raids of Mists of Pandaria. And there's an achievement for collecting all of them. So they're still in demand, and there's still lots of people who haven't collected them all yet. And what's great about this one is that they can drop from the LFR version, and you can just queue up for all three of the raids in one location without having to travel around the world. So it's an easy place to park an alt here and just have them run through all three raids once a week. Alright, and with that, I'll see you all next week.